Hello and welcome to Tennis Works TV on Sunday the 29th of January 2012 with myself John Cavill, Director of Tennis, Tennis Works. Here's a brief roundup of the latest news in the world of tennis. World number one Novak Djokovic captured his fifth Grand Slam championship title as he defeated the number two ranked Rafael Nadal. 576462 in an epic final at the Australian Open in Melbourne. At 5 hours and 53 minutes, it was the longest ever match at the Australian Open and the longest men's Grand Slam final on record, surpassing the previous record of 4 hours and 54 minutes when Mats Villander defeated Ivan Lendl at the 1988 US Open. Victoria Azarenka created one of the most impressive performances by a young player in a Grand Slam final as the 22-year-old took the match against three-time Grand Slam champion Maria Sharapova, 6-3, 6-love, to win her first Grand Slam title and capture the WTA number one world ranking. Playing in just their fourth tour level event together, India's Leander Pays and Radak Stefanik of the Czech Republic won their first major team title as they defeated five-time Australian Open champions Bob and Mike Bryan, 7-6, 6-2 in Saturday's final in Melbourne. This victory sees 38-year-old Pays complete his career Grand Slam by winning the Australian Open crown for the first time. Svetlana Kutsnova and Vera Zvonareva became the first all-round Russian team to win a Grand Slam doubles title on Friday evening, surviving a tense final game to defeat the all-Italian pairing of Sara Irani and Roberta Vinci in the final of the Australian Open, 5-7, 6-4, 6-3. Eight seeds, Bethany and Horia Tekel, captured the Australian Open mixed doubles now Sunday in Melbourne, defeating Leander Pace and Elena Vecina 3-7-10 in final. In the junior section of the Aussie Open, the boys' top seed, Luke Savile of Australia, lived up to his seeding to capture the title with a 6-3, 5-7, 6-4 win over unseeded Philip Pelewo of Canada. American Taylor Townsend, seeded 14th, backed up her doubles title in the junior girls yesterday by taking the girls singles title with a 6-1, 3-6, 6-3 win over four-seeded Yulia Putinsteva of Russia. Liam Brody and Joshua Ward Hibbert have won the Australian Open boys doubles title after winning the final in straight sets on Friday. The British duo defeated Adam Pavlicek of Czech and Philip Vega of Croatia 6-3, 6-2 after just 45 minutes of play. Unseeded Americans Gabrielle Andrews and Taylor Townsend won a very close to girls doubles final against the Russian number one seeds Irina Kromacheva and Danka Korvinchika 7-5, 5-7, Looking ahead to this week The ATP Tour have three 250 events running next week with one in Montpellier, France, another in Zagreb, Croatia, and the last in Vina del Mar in Chile. The women are also involved in various groups of the Fed Cup, with Russia playing Spain, Belgium playing Serbia, the Ukraine playing Italy, and Germany versus the Czech Republic, all in the world group. Let me keep you informed about the forthcoming Tennis Works event. 
Join us in Milton Keynes for a live tennis work seminar with Alan Jones and Joe Jury titled So You Want to Produce a Pro Player. Alan Jones currently heads up the Elite Tennis Academy SC Tennis based at Duke's Meadow in London and having coached many of Britain's national champions at junior and senior level, Alan is one of the most respected coaches in British tennis. He is internationally renowned for having masterminded Joe Jury's career to world number five and Alan has spent over 10 years on the international WTA women's tour. Joe is one of Britain's most successful players ever, having been the British number one for 10 years, reached a career high of number five in the world and won two mixed doubles grand slams. She retired in 1995 and since then she has been coaching with Alan and working as a TV commentator for Eurosport and the BBC. During the seminar, Alan and Joe will discuss the various elements required to produce a professional tennis player, whilst imparting their experiences when they were at the top of the WTA circuit, and what they are doing now to produce future professionals players at their academy. This is a rare opportunity to see these internationally recognised duo so we hope that you can join us. You can register for the seminar on www.tennisworks.net. Please go to tennisworks.net today, where you can register for your free membership for one month. Whether you're a coach, player, parent, enthusiast, assistant, or involved in tennis in any way, tennisworks.net is a one-stop shop for all your tennis development and educational needs. On the website, you can also sign up to our free newsletter, which is bursting with quality information and articles from our contributors around the world. And you can also join our YouTube channel for regular updates on the world of tennis. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, and please go and visit tennisworks.net now. Take care, and see you all again soon.